Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to boost news in SharePoint. In many cases, there are news that are very important for the organization. Let's say COVID updates or more in general company updates. With this feature, you are able to boost a news, specify a time range when this news should be on top of other news. Okay, let's check it out together. Here I am in my SharePoint home site. Boosted News allows you to prioritize the visibility of news in specific components. The first target is the feed for Viva Connections. This web part that you can easily add when you edit the page, it is exactly this one, allows to display Boosted News and we have one visible here with this text boosted on top of this news and there is here a second one. Another component that display Boosted News is the top news card recently added in Viva Connections. This is the dashboard of Viva Connections. If I click on the button See All, let me republish again this page so we can display this adaptive card. Clicking on See All, I'm able to list all Boosted News. I have two for the moment and it's important to know that you can influence even the order. I set up as a first Boosted News company benefit and then this second one, Demo M365 Virtual Conference. This is pretty cool. And you can even display this Boosted News in the Viva Connection Teams mobile app. And here I am now on my Android device. Opening Microsoft Teams and tapping on Contoso, the first app that you can see here below, this is Viva Connections. The dashboard shows up and here I have several adaptive cards. Here there is the top news adaptive card and we can see the first boosted news which is company benefit. If I tap on see all we can see the previous user experience that we have seen. So I have two boosted news. So this is how it looks like in the Teams mobile app. And you can even see boosted news in the feed section of this mobile app. So there is always this text boosted above the, the news, Contoso, Company, Benefit, and here I have the other one, Boosted Demo m 5 Virtual Conference. But now let's see how you can create a Boosted News. I am back in the home site. Let's start to create a new Boosted News. Let's go on the button New and then News Post. Here I'm going to select this template and then let me click on create post. Here I'm going to tap the title, Lauren Ipsum. Then in the body, I'm going to add a text that I already have. I'm going to add just an image, selecting one from the stock images. It's fine, that one, insert. And here we go, I have now a, a news read to go. Let me click on the button post news and when this news is posted, I have now the ability to click on the button Boost. This opens the right panel and here I can turn on the toggle button Boost because this is a very important news for the organization. Then below there is the calendar field Boost until I can set, for example, the end of April. And here I have listed the order of all boosted news that I have in the organization. At the first position, I have Company Benefit, Demo M365 Virtual Conference, and the new one, Lorem Ipsum. I can bring this to the second position, for example. So this will be the new order right now. Let me click on the button Save, and just in a matter of minutes, hours, this change will be reflected in the home site and in any other component that display Boosted News. In the future, Microsoft has announced that Boosted News will be visible in the SharePoint app bar, so probably will be included in the My News icon here in this panel. And then Boosted News will be visible also in the News web part of SharePoint, this, this one and this other one below that we can see. And lastly, the user will get the Auto News Digest in the email containing all boosted news. This is an example how it looks like the, the look and feel of this email. We have the boosted news on top and then we have normal news below. 
All right, we have seen in this video how to highlight and boost news in SharePoint. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, comment, stay tuned, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.